Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today we're here with House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode number 3, second of his name. Now, if you like what you see and enjoy these kinds of videos, consider hitting the like button and clicking the subscribe button down below. With all that being said, I've really been enjoying revisiting the show, this world, these characters, and I cannot wait to get into this episode. So, if you're ready, I'm ready, grab a drink, and let's get started. Corlys is Banner. The sea snake will have your boxes fucking head! No, 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 please! Ah! <sighs> Don't think he's there to help you. Yo, he is just destroying them. Save me! Ooh. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, that is a cool shot. Whoa. I love the show. I really do. Come out, Where are you? There's no incentive to come out while you're on your dragon. Oh. I like that because it really shows how much of a bond he and the dragon has. Like when he feels pain, so does the dragon. Two years old and already our boy has a kingly presence. <laughs> it is Egan's second name day. His infancy is behind him. It only remains for Viserys to name him heir to the throne. I wouldn't be so sure. He's the king's firstborn son. I don't know that his grace sees it so clearly. Then it lies with you to make him see it. The lords of the realm already want him as their heir. And her people... Her heart broken for those. Your Grace. Did I say to stop? You may go, Samwell. You are to stay by order of the princess. The queen commands you to leave the godswood at once. Oh, pulling rank. <laughs> Is it the king's command? Yes, but it. Then at once, Your Grace. But it needn't be. None of it needs be this way in truth, Rhaenyra. I don't know why the king didn't just talk to her about marrying Ellison from the start, you know? How would you like to participate? I'm not sure why I must. Because you are my daughter. And you have duties. So I am ceaselessly reminded. <laughs> really cool to see this, like, hunt, because I think this is what George R. R. Martin wanted, like, in the original series for, like, Robert's Hunt. But they, all they got were like four guys walking through the woods. <laughs> hail, hail, Edward the Conqueror Bade, second of his name. Here's to his grace on his second name day. <laughs> that's interesting. One, calling him your grace, because that's usually reserved for the king and his wife, the queen. And also calling him second of his name. You usually only get that moniker once you've ascended the throne. Was your own second name day as grand as this? I honestly don't recall, and neither will Egan. <laughs> That's true. Lord Jason Lannister. I gathered that from all the lions. I don't think we've been... Um, I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but I do have the means and resources to build one. Why would you need a dragon pit? To house dragons, of course. I'd do anything for my queen or lady wife. So both the High Towers and the Lannisters don't think that she's going to rule. Is that what I am to you? A prize to proffer about to the great houses. Jason Lannister is an excellent match. She's arrogant and self-serious. Well, I thought you might have that in common. <laughs> and I have tried often to discuss it, but you've refused me at every turn. That is because mm, I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist for my tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. Excuse me, Your Grace. Yeah, if I can fuck everybody. <laughs> The Royal Huntsman has sent a report, Your Grace, there's been a sighting of a white heart. The stag is the king of the king's wood, Your Grace, a regal portent for Prince Aegon's name day. <laughs> I can't deal with 
Jesus. There's a lot of parallels between Viserys and Robert, both men that are ruling that just aren't suited to the throne. I had this forged in the Golden Gallery in honor of Prince Aegon. I would be honored to take the Princess Rhaenyra to wife, Your Grace, and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? <laughs> I did not decide to name Rhaenyra my heir on a whim. All the lords of the kingdom would do well to remember that. Rhaenys was right. The men of the realm expect Aegon to rule. What do you make of Lord Jason's proposal? That man's pride has pride. <laughs> Just like a Lannister. There is another choice beyond Casterly Rock. One perhaps you might be more comfortable with. One closer to home. Who do you have in mind? Prince Aegon. No, Otto. Really trying to elevate his family. The boy just turned two, Otto. Yes, but it would cease the endless proposals for Rhaenyra's hand. <laughs> Betrothed them. I came here to hunt, not to be suffocated by all this fucking politicking. <laughs> it's part of being king, though. Do you wish to hear my opinion on the matter? It would seem to me the best match for Rhaenyra is the son of the sea snake, Selenor. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. years ago, I counseled you to take his sister to wife. My reasoning remains the same. Lenor is of pure Valyrian descent. It would do much to assuage Lord Corlys of any slights, real or imagined. <laughs> Interesting wording there. I feel like Lord Strong is the only one that gives unbiased advice to the king. You know, he's the only one not trying to advance his own family. Princess, I must make a final plea that we return to the camp. Damn, man, boys are dangerous. a sign that she should be the ruler. Why must every effort on your behalf be resisted, as if to the death? Because you mean to replace me with Alicent Hightower's son. He's not wrong. You have no further use for me. It is true that as rulers, we must marry for advantage. Before... What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. She's right. That is true enough. Make it yourself. Find one that pleases you, as I did. I did waver at one time, but I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. Lano. If King's Landing will not support David, why should any of us? I will not have you stoke mutiny. Yeah, the men's morale is down. Prince Damon, I bring word from His Grace Viserys Targaryen. First of his name, King of the Andals, the Rhoynar, and the First Men. Ooh. <laughs>
Damn. Damn. I have ordered 10 ships and 2,000 men to set sail from King's Landing to join the effort in the Stepstones. Know that it is not my desire to see you fail in your cause. I shall pray nightly to the gods for your safe return. Yeah, I think he realizes he has to end this before those troops get here. Because then it becomes Viserys' victory, not his. Because he is, he's out here for his own glory. Looking for dragons. Keeping an eye out for the dragons. <laughs> oh. Close with the battle axe. That's sea smoke. There goes the prince. Straight in half. Damon really is a badass. So that's interesting, because we got we got a shot with Rhaenyra covered in blood, and then we got the shot with Damon covered in blood. That's a interesting parallel to have in the episode. Alright guys, so that is episode number three of House of the Dragon from the books. I really did enjoy this episode. Um, I really did like the parallels that we got between Rhaenyra and Daemon in this episode. You know, we got to see that they both came back kind of from fighting their battles, um, and they were both bloody. So I really did like that we got to see that, that parallel between the two of them. Um, I also liked that we got to see more of Lord Strong. I feel like he's one of the only people on both the small council and just in the show in general that isn't trying to advance his own position or his own family. Um... It's just a shame that the king doesn't seem to take his advice because it's the only unbiased advice that he gets. Um, I also really like that we kind of got to see that Princess Rhaenys was right um, when she was warning Rhaenyra that the men of the realm wouldn't accept her as queen. Um, in this episode, we kind of got to see the High Towers and the Lannisters. You know, they both expect that Aegon is going to ascend to the throne and rule. So I think, yeah, it was really cool that we got to see that Rhaenys was right um when she was talking to Renera there um another cool parallel that i noticed in this episode was viserys and robert baratheon you know they're both really cool guys that you want to like but they're both ill suited for the throne you know um, they both also lost somebody that they really loved um and it's kind of driven them to just drink and you know not enjoy their life anymore um yeah i i think viserys might also have the dragon dream ability um that runs in the targaryen family um because yeah he he said you know i saw my son with the with the conqueror's crown now i think he misinterpreted the dream um and that it was actually in reference to aegon you know and not Balon, um, because he does have the Conqueror's name that could be referring to the Conqueror's crown. Um, so yeah, I think it could be in reference to Aegon. So we'll have to see how things play out there. 
Um, and then, of course, my favorite part of the episode, I think, had to be the end with Damon. Um, it really shows what he is willing to sacrifice in order for victory. And I think he really did have to you know, put himself out there in that scene because if he allows Viserys' men to come in and help him secure victory, it would become Viserys' victory and not his. So I think he really did have to, you know, go in there and make sure that he secured the victory before the support of Viserys arrived. Um, but yeah, I really did enjoy this episode. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of the episode. If you did like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and consider hitting the subscribe button to get notified when new videos come out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.